Hi guys, it's Winifred, and I am here because I have a couple of things that I received in the mail recently. Nothing really special, except I did get um, lipstick from uh, MAC, the Didavantis new lipstick, and um, I got an eye liner, and I also got a new brush from Sigma. And I've been liking Sigma brushes here recently and I think I did a favorites on them especially the E38 well I wanted to get the E41 because this one is supposed to be really really kind of fluffy and extra good for laying down um, the transitional shades so this one is the E40 and it's slightly longer than um, the E38 but yeah so I'm going to use this as a transition brush and see how I like it but see here's the E38 so let's compare yeah it's a little bit longer but to me the E38 looks a little fluffier so we will see how this works as a transition brush got that from um, Sigma and that is all I ordered from Sigma let me see if they I think this is just the paperwork um, yeah and a brochure it's just the paperwork and a brochure of all the other brushes and you know the typical and then I was kind of well I wasn't I hadn't made up my mind on that Dita Von Tees lipstick but I figured why not what the heck go ahead and get it and then i got like this little sample of um zoom lash uh, black is black mascara comes in a tube so this is a good way to try this out um i think i just had like the false lash mascara and then i have the one that comes in the blue one uh was that the giga megabyte or whatever the megabyte I don't know what it is it's that one that comes in the blue tube for my bottom lashes I have that now I love feline pencil so you know who doesn't love feline but you know if you don't set this it will be all over your face so I ordered another feline it's just so soft and goes on so soft it doesn't tug at that uh, sensitive eye area I got that and then I got, look at the box guys, this is the packaging, the Dita Von Tees packaging. Now I don't know how this red is going to look. I have a little bit of lip balancer on. I had a neutral on earlier today. I had to run an errand. Okay, so this is the lipstick right here. Look at that. And let me swatch it on my hand so you can see it. That's it right there. It's kind of like a... I don't know guys uh, I didn't put on I'm not putting on any lip liner until afterwards I want you to kind of see what it looks like on ah. now it does go on real smooth and at first because it looked a little light I was concerned I like wait a minute I won't be able to wear that this actually goes on really smooth. It's nice and creamy. Okay, now this is it without any kind of a lip liner on or anything. It's real smooth. The coverage is really nice. I think that this is a good lipstick for all year round, guys. And um, let's just try it with this. Uh, I think this is the red basic red and and this is that chroma lip pencil or chromatic now not only do I think that this is all year a good all year round lippy guys I also think that this is a good red for mixing you know I think it's a good red for mixing um, burgundies maybe cyber with uh, you could wear this like I said spring summer 
winter, fall. I'm shocked. I thought this was going to be way lighter than this. Um, this is really nice. And just for comparison, I wear, I'm a shade um, tobacco in um, uh, Becca's foundation. And I am a, a suede in uh, Lancome's foundation. So I really like this. It's It's got a little bit more of an to me, a little bit more of an orangey. It's a good middle, mid-tone red. I like this. Tell me what you think. Comment below, guys. And uh, that's pretty much all I have today. I just wanted to pop on and show you this red lipstick and see what you thought. I see what you think about it. And uh, yeah, comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you, if you would wear this. And if not, why not? Okay, guys. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.